Welcome to Daily Prayer, your sacred space for contemplation and connection, brought to you by the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and it's a blessing to have you with us today as we journey together in prayer. It's Wednesday, May 15th, and we're reflecting on the seventh Sunday of Easter. Let's take a moment to still our souls, inviting the peace of God to fill our hearts. Let's pray. Gracious and glorious God, you have chosen us as your own, and by the powerful name of Christ, you protect us from evil. By your Spirit, transform us and your beloved world, that we may find our joy in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Now let's hear today's scripture reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 16. May the Word of God speak to our souls. Jesus said to his disciples, In a little while you will see me no longer. Again, after a little while you will see me. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What is the meaning of what he is saying? In a little while you will not see me. Again, after a little while, you will see me. And because I am going to the Father. So they kept on repeating, what is the meaning of what he says? In a little while, we do not understand what he is talking about. Jesus could see that they wanted to ask him about these things. So he said to them, are you asking each other about this? That I said, in a little while, you will not see me. Again, after a little while, you will see me. I tell you the solemn truth. You will weep and wail, but the world will rejoice. You will be sad, but your sadness will turn into joy. When a woman gives birth, she has distress because her time has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the suffering because of her joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now, but I will show you see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. At that time you will ask me nothing. I tell you the solemn truth. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive it, so that your joy may be complete. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Having received the word, let us now pour out our hearts to God, lifting up our joys, concerns, and gratitude. Whether in silent meditation or spoken word, let our prayers unite us in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, 
for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. On this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the people he has redeemed. That we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That all people may receive the good news of his victory. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That in the undying love of Christ, we may be united with all who have died in the faith of Christ. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Let us commend the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We trust that this time of reflection has enriched your spirit and drawn you closer to God. If you found this podcast uplifting, please share it with loved ones and consider subscribing so you can journey with us each day. To support our ministry, visit our website at goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what challenges you face today, God's love surrounds you. Stay well. Spread kindness. I'll see you tomorrow.